You have to be accountable for the use of the resources. You have to be accountable for the actions that produce more outputs. And you have to be accountable for producing those outputs with re fewer resources. And you're accountable for studying the positive to negative feedback ratio, not only with others, but as we look at about 13 seconds here in terms of the inner dialogue that's going on with yourself. And if you do that, if you build the accountability in at each piece of that system, because you can't do it part here and part there and part somewhere else, the thing to remember is that lack of accountability pays the way to mediocrity. So what I'm asking is take accountability for each piece of that system as it relates to you and work at making those right things happen. Effectiveness first and then efficiency. The third thing is to practice personal power control. And personal power control, the ABCs of peak performance are the activating event and then something will go in the middle there and then there's a consequence, how we feel or act. Now if I brought out, we got uh, table two over here and these folks were all raised in the swamps. They uh, love snakes. They never met a snake they didn't like. Snakes are the greatest thing in the world. Table three, uh, they were all raised in, uh, we'll say, New York City, and they hate snakes. They think snakes are the most vile thing in the world. It freaks them out. Table four, you know, they can take them or leave them. You know, snakes are okay. They're not bad. They're not great. They're just they're snakes. So I reach into a box and I pull out a snake. Table number two says, wow, look at the markings. That is great. That is a cute little snake. Table three says, ah. They run out of the room. Table four says, ah, it's a snake. I've seen better snakes. I've seen worse snakes. Three different actions. Same activating event, snake. Three different consequences. Three different groups of actions. What produced those three different responses? Was it the activating event? Was it the snake? No, I would submit to you that it is the belief about that snake. And it's the belief that those three individual groups had about the snake. You know, I, I was doing some work with one organization and I said, give me, give me some examples of a stressful situation. And, and somebody said, you know, taking the kids on vacation. That was a younger parent, a parent been around a little longer, said, Wait till they announce they're not going on the vacation this year. Okay? <laughs> Same activating event, you know, two different kinds of things. Uh, somebody said, uh, you know, having the kids move out, you know, empty nest. Wait till they move back in again. <laughs> so the question is, where do we get our beliefs? It's so simple, it's almost laughable. From an event. We experience an event in certain ways, and that leads us to some kind of action. So I would ask you to, ex whenever you, you, know, you say something, you know, those darn folks over there, they make me angry. Well, they're not making you angry. Something about your belief system. They ought to do this. They should have done that. They never do this. They always do that.